our model is not the first and only model relating to knowledge transfer and exchange. There's over 60 different models of what we call KTE in health research. We were interested in looking at how existing activities and, and models around knowledge transfer could be capitalised for palliative care, but it's that evidence-based uh, practice that we were interested in. So phase one was a systematic scoping review, which was looking at existing models um, in health services research and trying to capitalise on the core components. From that, uh, the aim was to develop a series of case studies which would evaluate using that model in palliative care and actually looking at refining it for palliative care, with the ultimate outcome being um, a, a palliative care specific model. And you can see the stages of review and screening that we went through. And we tried to be as rigorous as possible because we wanted to be able to have faith in, in our findings. We took the model and we presented it to a room full of palliative care researchers and practitioners and stakeholders, and we asked them to tell us whether we were on track or not. So this was our process to get to a point where we were able to identify the core components of knowledge transfer and exchange evident in a broad selection of health services research studies. And this is MTREC, our evidence-based model for the transfer of research knowledge. There is nothing new in this model, and that may sound like I'm knocking it, but I'm not, because this is what we teased out from those existing models. What is new, though, is the packaging of them. The message you want to transfer, the knowledge, the stakeholders or audience that you want to speak to, and the process or activities that you're going to undertake. There is lots of discussion of these areas, and in fact, on average, 50 papers discussed these three areas. These three aspects of the model, though, exist in a local context. The organizations are settings where you're trying to transfer that knowledge. What was rarely discussed, though, was the idea that all of this process happens in a social, cultural and economic context that influences the transfer process. If you're in a time of economic recession, the idea of novel intervention, novel findings, new treatment can often go unheard because of that economic context. And then even less frequently considered was the need to actually evaluate how well your knowledge transfer um, acts and works. So these are the six core elements of, of knowledge transfer. These are the things we would suggest the literature is highlighted as needing to be looked at. Knowledge transfer requires that a message and highlights the impact on user need, that it's actually necessary, it's important. It's important that that knowledge, that message is accessible to the, to the listener, to the, the audience. The knowledge has to be credible and it has to be actionable. There needs to be something to be done from it. This all improves the possibility of that transfer process. Everyone identifies that knowledge transfer involves multiple stakeholders, but what we found was interesting was often the knowledge producers, the researchers are left out of the equation, but we spend a lot of time talking to other researchers and the ability to communicate with those is a key part. But knowledge users and beneficiaries are often mentioned and we intentionally distinguished these two because the users we felt were the practitioners, the clinicians, the managers who might make decisions based on your research findings and the beneficiaries ultimately were the service users and their families. The idea that knowledge transfer is an interactive exchange, it can't be passive, again is not new, it's central to many definitions. But what was interesting was this idea that we must market that knowledge. How many researchers are good marketers of their research? We don't think about social media, we don't think about engaging messages. And the idea that we have to do lots of different things to effectively disseminate our messages, the diverse activities, and that those activities have to be targeted and timely. You do not wait till the end to transfer your knowledge because then you won't have a fertile ground onto which you can sow that information. So key messages uh, from our work, knowledge transfer is a complex non-linear process, multiple stakeholders but also multiple messages at different stages of the, 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 life, the, the life course of the project. It is about interactive exchange, it's to and from practice and policy, but also to and from other researchers. And the last thing I'd lead you with is that we're not saying that this model will make sure that research does actually arrive in practice, that it does get used, but we would argue that this is about knowledge landing, making sure that your research gets to the setting where it can have an impact. So while it might not automatically result in change, it's gonna make it more likely that change will occur.